Now, let us move to the one of properties of integers, which is the closure property. Closure property holds true for addition, subtraction, and multiplication of integers. It does not apply for the division of two integers. So as you already know the definition of what is closure property, we will now proceed to types of closure property which are namely the closure property of addition, closure property of subtraction, closure property of multiplication, and closure property of division. So these four are the arithmetic properties we perform within a number set in closure property. But as we proceed with our lesson, ang matatake lang natin ay ang closure property of addition, subtraction, and multiplication. So now, dadako naman tayo. Ang pag-uusapan naman natin ngayon ay rules of closure property of integers under addition and subtraction. So rule number one, the addition of two same sign integers will yield a value in the same sign. Rule number two, the addition of two different sign integers will yield the sign of the greater number and the subtraction follows the same rules. So sa rule number one, meron tayo ditong dalawang example which is yung 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 or the negative 5 plus negative 5 which is equal to negative 10. So, alam naman natin na 5 plus 5 is equals to 10 dahil para silang positive. Sa pangalawang example, negative 5 plus negative 5 is negative 10. So, paano siya nangyari? So, ang rules natin sa integers ay kapag parehas na negative yung ipag-aad natin, ang gagawin lang natin is ipag-aad natin sila and ikakapi natin yung negative sign. Sa rule number 2 naman na example natin which is negative 5 plus 2 which is negative 3 and 5 plus negative 2 which is 3. Kung mapapansin natin sa dalawang example na to ay kung ano yung sign ng mas malaking number is yun yung sign ng magiging um, sagot natin. Kagaya na lang ng negative 5 plus 2. Negative 5, mas malaki yung negative so pagmamainusin natin siya. Negative 5 plus 2 is equal to negative 3. And yung pangalawang example naman natin, which is mas maliit yung sign ng negative at kaya ang naging sagot natin is positive. Okay. To prove this property, let us consider an example. Where we add to positive integers 4 and 9, the result of addition is... 4 plus 9 is equal to 13. So here all, 4, 9, and 13 are integers. So next example, negative 4 and negative 9. The result of addition is negative 4 plus negative 9 is equal to negative 13. So all these are integers. So negative 4 plus negative 9 is negative 13. Gagayahin mo lang yung negative sign. Okay, next. Negative 5 and negative 3. So, the result of this addition is negative 5 plus negative 3 is equal to negative 8. Kakapahin mo lang yung negative sign pag ipagpa-plus. So, they are all integers. Okay, next. Next example. 5 and negative 3. So, the result of this are 5 plus Negative 3 is 2. Paano naging 2? Kasi 5 minus 3 is 2. So, they are all integers. Okay, last example, negative 10 and 3. The result of this addition is negative 10 plus 3 is equal to negative 7. Bakit naging negative 7? Kasi mas malaki yung sign ng 10 which is negative. So, dapat negative din yung sagot. Pag mamainusin lang natin, negative 10 plus 3 is equal to negative 7 and they are all integers. Ang dalawang integers kapag pinag-minus, dapat ang sagot ay integers pa rin. Para mas maintindihan pa natin, ito ang mga halimbawa. 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. Ang 8 tsaka 4 ay parehong integer kaya ang sagot ay 4 which is integer pa rin. Next, 7 minus negative 3 is equal to 10. So, bakit naging 10 ang sagot? Kasi sa rule ng subtraction ay mag-change tayo ng sign. 
So, ang minus na operation ay magiging positive at ang negative 3 ay magiging pa positive 3. Kaya 7 plus 3 is equals to 10. Another, negative 5 minus 4 is equals to negative 9. Kung i-apply natin ang rule, ang minus na sign ay magiging plus at ang 4 ay magiging negative 4. So, negative 5 plus negative 4 Copy the sign na negative at pagpaplasin 5 plus 4 is equals to negative 9. So number 4, negative 9 minus negative 2 is equals to negative 7. Sa case na to, just copy the negative sign and then 9 minus 2 is equals to 7. Kaya ang sagot ay negative 7. Last example, negative 6 minus negative 3 is equals to negative 3. Paano naging negative 3? Copy lang yung negative sign. 6 minus 3 is 3. Kaya ang sagot ay negative 3. As you can see, ang dalawang integer na pinag minus ay integer din ang sagot. So now, let us proceed to the rules of closure property of integers under multiplication. So, rule number one, the product of a positive integer and a negative integer is negative, which is shown below. Rule number two, the product of two positive integers is positive, as also shown below. And rule number three, the product of two negative integers is positive, as given below. And here are some examples para mas maintindihan ang rules of closure property of integers under multiplication. So, ito yung first example natin dito. 3 multiplied by or times negative 5 is equal to negative 15. So, kaya siya naging negative 15 kasi kung babalikan natin, positive times negative is equal to negative. Another example is 6 times 2 which is equal to 12. So, kaya naman siya naging 12 dahil positive plus positive is equal to positive. So, another example here is negative 4 times 7 which is equal to negative 28. Again, sinasabi sa rule natin na negative times positive is negative. Another example is 12 times 10, which is equal to 120. So, dito yung rule natin is positive times positive is positive. 